and thanks for choosing 28 Tampa Bay News. I'm Angie Moreski. And I'm Doug Smith. Here's what's happening tonight. A piece of history has come to Tampa Bay. The long-awaited Titanic exhibit is finally open. The U.S. could be... ...will eventually dissipate. The Florida International Museum is trying to stay afloat, and officials are banking that the new Titanic exhibit will keep them from going under. It recently sailed into St. Pete, and today it officially opened to the public. 28 Tampa Bay's Robert Townsend was there. It's the first big day and the Titanic exhibit is already making a big splash at the Florida International Museum in St. Pete. These are your headphones. Today hundreds of people packed the museum to catch a glimpse. They first collected their headsets. This was the stage for that night of drama. Then watched an eight minute long movie that relives the sinking of the huge British passenger ship. The movie puts you in the mood before you got in here, talking about the lives that were lost. And then so you kind of got a sense of the people's feelings as they left their family. And then you saw what they went through before and then after. 16 galleries at the museum are filled with haunting images of the Titanic's 2,200 passengers and crew. Among the artifacts recovered from the wreckage 85 years ago, now on display, are passengers, tattered clothing and shoes, a bronze chair, possibly from the doomed ship's grand staircase, and crystal and china, amazingly, some still intact. A lot of it was in really good condition, too, which was mm -hmm. interesting, because, you know, I would have expected a lot of it to be rusted and decayed. The artifacts, really, I really like them. They're really exciting to see. Instead of just seeing them in pictures, you can see them, like, what they are, instead of just looking at them in pictures. That night, um, they heard a crash. 85-year-old Milvina Dean was only nine weeks old when the Titanic sunk. Dean was among the 706 survivors. My mother got into lifeboat number 13, and I was so small they couldn't hold me, so they put me into a sack and put me over into life at number 13. The Titanic is off to a great start. More than 3,000 people saw the exhibit today. If you weren't among them, don't worry. The exhibit will be on display through next May. In St. Petersburg, Robert Townsend, 28, Tampa Bay News. And the exhibit is open daily from 9 in the morning until 8 at night, and it will be in town for the next six months. Yeah, I'm really eager to see it myself, but I hear the mm -hmm. tickets are hard to come by. Is that right? They're selling out already for well, a lot of the shows. They've got six months. I mean, it seems like it will be a hit. It's a very popular topic. I know mm -hmm. the documentary film was very popular. Right, and the movie's coming out soon, too. That's right.